film the other way or does it not? Betty, it's Maggie. We are here in Carmel, California. We are wine tasting, so pardon us. We're actually at a wine tasting event. We're with LBP, the luxury brand partners, Orbe, V76, R and Co. R &Co and Smith, Smith and Colt. And I am here with two very lovely people. I want you to each introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Dan Nguyen from Bloor Salon in Vancouver, and I'm also an educator for Orbe. And hi, I'm Linda Rafosco from Lure Salon in Vancouver, BC. Okay, great. So we were just having a little chit chat back there where we were having a little bit of, of this kind of stuff. <laughs> and so um, we were talking about, it's very interesting, they both worked at a regular commission salon, then they went to booth rental, and then they went back to a commission salon and actually own a salon. And we were talking about the benefits, when it's right to be in either situation. So I'm going to flip this on them. You guys ask your questions and um, we're going to start with you to talk about your your journey, why you originally... Here you go. Okay. Okay. So I was in a commission-based salon and then for 12 years and I thought it was very, very educational. Then I felt like I, maybe I, I'm going to make more money working as a booth renter. And I did. I did make more money. But however, I felt like it was a professional um, slow death because I was missing the camaraderie and the partnership with my uh, my colleagues and 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 the owners you know there was basically no support no education support and all that stuff so that's when we decided to connect and did you guys were you both at the same salon together were we were together? We, yeah. we met when we were both um, in booth rental and um, we have a very similar work philosophy, work, work ethic, and we both felt the same way, that being there just, um, although we were independent, um, was uh, for us a slow death. Okay, so then you guys went to, uh, when you were at the salon, were, were things good? I mean, what made you do that and then what made you go back and forth? And people are asking questions about how to get clientele, but we'll get into your questions in a minute. As a booth renter, you, we had to be very self-sufficient and getting our own clients and marketing ourselves and all that stuff. And that was, you know, that was challenging in terms of, you know, I did a lot of editorial, so I made sure that my name was always out there and, you know, garnering, garnering that kind of publicity and, and attention to get the clients. But I also felt very alone because it's like nobody was working together. So Somebody's fun. asking really to give a definition of booth rental, so go ahead. Just give so it. booth rental um, is basically when you are independent, renting your spot, and um, work solely for yourself. So you may be in an environment with a few other stylists, but um, really you are just essentially renting your little area. Okay, so now what, how, when is it right for a, a person who wants to be independent and renting a booth, and when is it right to be in a commission salon? I think if you are highly motivated um, and completely entrepreneurial, in, entrepreneurial and independent um, it may be you if you are able to self-manage yourself and have control of self-managing it may be a good situation for you but if you're the type of person who wants to work as a team with a salon create um, a lot of um, great um, editorial relationships, relationships. Uh, you're probably the type of person who would want to work um, as a commission base. Somebody once said to me that the biggest challenge with a booth renter is uh, getting new clients. Um, is that something in your salon? Again, what is the name of your salon? Lure Salon, Vancouver, BC, Lure, Canada. L-U-R-E, Lure Salon. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as a booth renter, you can come and go as you want. So. How, how does that, when somebody works for you, um, how do you handle the flexibility issue? I think for us, we, you know, we, we're regimented. We, are, we have the hours and the shift to work. Everybody has to come and do their shifts. But, you know, we're as, as leaders in our own environment, we, we're understanding if you need to take time off for personal reasons, we would totally, we're, we're, we're there. As long as, you know, there are goals. Everybody has goals, we have goals. They, you know, our colleagues have goals as well. And as long as you meet them. Ultimately, we're here for our clients. And um, the reason that we do have scheduled hours is because this is, um, we, are, we are here for our clients. We are here to help them and they're here to help us. They. 
um, are our bread and butter. So you have to be really, really, um, I think, dedicated and motivated um, and really self-disciplined is a very good word. I think consistency is a key, right? Consistency, consistency is, is a key to Whether you're clientele. booth renter or commission based. So what do you do to bring in new clients? You know, we do a lot of charity, work. charity community, you know, like social media. We're big in the community. We do a lot of community work. So if you Google uh, Best Salon in Vancouver, Laura Salon will come up as number one. Um, but we give back lots, and that's our philosophy. Word of mouth. I say word of mouth is key. And you know word what? And I know I only have you guys for another minute. I want to talk about you got a great opportunity in Vancouver. I hope you guys can hear me. You got a great opportunity in Vancouver. You guys, your salon was invited to do this big event, and you think a lot of it, the, the reason you have so much recognition is because of your charity work. Tell us how important that is. I think it's huge for, for me personally. Um, it's, it's, I, I need to exist in a, in a, in a in a life where I give back. So I was a recipient of very, you know, I, I'm a cancer survivor, so I feel like I I need, I have so many things to be grateful for, so I, I need to give back. So I think I have, there's no other way to exist. Yeah, so. and, that, and as, a, as, a, as a salon, a commission salon, you can do that. You know, Absolutely. Hard for that you can reach the community. Absolutely. I mean, we, we are completely big on that, and I agree with Dan. Our philosophy is very much the same on that on that thought. Um, we've all been touched by somebody who's, who's had an illness, and for us, there's nothing better than, than giving back. And, and I think that's why we do get called on to do a lot of the fashion shows and a lot of the up-and-coming events in um, in Vancouver. All right, well, that's so cool. And I know I know you. I've seen you at Fashion Week in New York. And will I see you again this year? Absolutely. Every okay. season, I'm, I'm going to be there. What, what's our show? What's our favorite show? The Blondes! The Blondes. <laughs> so, and you guys, we'll see him at The Blondes. Well, are you going to come? I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. Okay, great. All right. And you guys have some, so much fun here at the LBP, the Orbe, R & Co, B76. and B76 Six. event. And go have some wine. You betcha. Thank you. Right, bye.